Electric Train Simulator 2018 and today you join me in another race and today we have the Union Pacific 844 and the A4 Mallard. A little rumour has been going around saying that a lot of you want to see the 844 versus Mallard in a race to see which one would actually win and I'm not going to be betting on anything because I'm not going to be because you know I'm only doing this because you guys want me to and I don't want to guess and then guess incorrectly because I don't want to look like a fool on YouTube but then again all the best fools on YouTube are the most popular ones so today it's basically it's the Americans versus the British once again so why do I, why do I keep doing these things so Mallard and the Union Pacific 844 are going to be set at the exact same power to see which one starts the fastest, is the fastest, and stops first. So you guys get, you guys know how all my racing drills work. Just see who stops at the end of the line first. That is the winner. So as I said, you know, I'm going to be programming these guys to see which one is faster and let the best train win. And to make sure you guys know that I'm not cheating, I'm actually going to be doing the programming on video so you guys can actually see how I do it. So click this, uh, where's Mallard, uh, number one, and what platform is Mallard on? It's on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so it's on track number eight. Let's go all the way down to the end and go from... Do, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I'm guessing it's on platform platform number 20 let's give it a guess is it on platform 20 platform 20 no platform 19 maybe no platform 21 yay it's platform 21 I, I, I knew it was in the 20s and we're gonna give mallard a hundred and thirty five percent power a hundred and thirty five percent power that's um that's quite a lot. And the same with the Union Pacific 844, and I think that's on platform number 19. As I said, I'm just I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. Is it right? Yay! I guess correctly. And the programming, 110. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, 135, the same as the Union Pacific 844. I mean, the same as Mallard, of course. That's what I meant to say. So Mallard is on 135% uh, power, and so the Union Pacific 844. Brilliant! I have, I actually don't know who's gonna win, but because I'm British, I'm British. I'm gonna have to say I want the Mallard to win. I do like the Union Pacific 844. It's like it's the only American theme train I actually love. Programming set good. As I said, I don't know who's gonna win, but I'm re I'm really excited. So click yes and let the race begin in three, two, one. Oh no, they're they're already off. So Mallard and the 844. Oh, it's close at the moment. Oh, I think Mallard is starting to pull away just a little bit faster, but the 844 is not giving up that easily. Oh, this is... It's been a while since I've done a race, but this is going to be a good one. I guarantee you this is going to be a fun race. Mallard's in the lead at the moment, but, you know, it's not the one who pulls away first. It's the one that stops at the end of the line first. That's the way the racing works in my world. Mallard's got a lead. Go, Mallard! Woo! Ooh, bit of a cool lighting there. I think it's because it's coming off the lamp of the 844. Yes, it is. Can you see the fire glow effect? That's quite cool. That's one of the reasons why I like the 844. It's not a bad looking engine actually. As I said before, you know, I'm not cheating. You guys know that I'm not cheating because I put on both 135% power and somehow Ma Mallard is sort of getting away from the 844. Don't know how that's doing it, but you know, it's pr it has been proven many years ago that Mallard was, well, is the fastest steam locomotive today. No one can beat her. Whoa, I wonder how fast that is. Too fast, probably. See, look at look at Mala, look at her just wee. What how fast that actually is? Hmm. And here's the Union Pacific 844. It's not, it's not doing that bad actually. Mala has got an interesting lead, but you know, I had no doubt. Well, maybe I had a little doubt, just a smidge that Mala might lose. But you know, I guess that smidge is nothing. That was a weird noise. Oh, something's wrong with the Union Pacific 844. It's smoking and it's smoking badly. I think something's wrong. I've never actually, I actually, I actually don't know what's going on with the Union Pacific 844. That does not look normal. Hold on, what do we have here? I think the Union Pacific 844 is catching up. She's smoking badly, but she's catching up. 
and she's overtook a mallard. I can't believe this. Oh my god, she actually has overtook a mallard. It's just tremendous speed. I wonder how fast that actually is. Oh, but she is smoking very badly. I don't know if she's that, if that's normal. If that's actually a trouble. Oh dear. But where's mallard? Mallard has just been smacked down by the Americans. Even I'm surprised. I mean, look at her lead now. Even I'm surprised. I wonder how fast that is. Wee! Oh, that is quite fast. But Mallow's just left for dirt. How is that even possible? I, I, I how, how do the physics work in this game? I don't know. But you know, as I said before, it's not the fastest engine in the race. It's the first engine to stop at the end of the line. That's how this race works. And I think the Union Pacific 844 is starting to slow down. And I think Mallard is catching up. Is it going to be Mallard or is it going to be the Union Pacific 844? Make up your minds already and Mallard's just overtook him. Yay, go Mallard. And why is the Union Pacific 844 smoking like mad? Is it, is it broken? So yeah, again, Mallard is in the lead and... The Union Pacific 84. I don't know what it's doing. All I know it's something's obviously wrong because it's smoking like mad. It probably must have burst a safety valve or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know much about American steam engines and how they work and all they do. And we've reached the end of the line again. Here are the buffers. And they keep disappearing. If you look closely, these buffers keep disappearing. I don't know why they keep them. They're magic buffers. If you go through them, you go to the mainland or the island of soda or something. Or maybe that's just Thomas and the Magic Railroad. So here comes Mallard. I think Mallard is going to win this. And I, it, it, I don't know, actually. The Union Pacific 44 could catch up. But I, I, as I said, you know, it's the first engine to stop. And I think Mallard is the winner of this episode of Train Race. Not a very good title, but, you know, it's a title. And is she going to stop? Yes, she is. Bit of braking. God, I love the colour in the wheels. The wheels in the blue just look so good. And here comes the 844, and it's smoking badly. I think, without a doubt, I think, you know, she broke herself. But, you know, nice try, uh, 844. You did amazing. I mean, you did surprise me at first. I, th I mean, I actually thought she was going to win. I mean, at first, I thought Mallard was going to win. But when this was at speed, then, oh, I thought she was going to win. But then... Mallard just overtook. I think this has been the most interesting race. I want to... Hmm. I don't actually know, actually. I don't know why this race happened today. But all I know, it, it was a good one. It was a fun race. And stop. There we go. Ah, lovely. So we have to conclude one winner for today. The winner is obviously Mallard. But, you know, let's give the Union Pacific 844 some love. I mean, come on. It did very well. It, it surprised me. Let's be honest. It really did surprise me. But... I guess Mallard was just better. But until then, guys, I've had a fantastic time uh, making this uh, episode of, of Train Race. If you want to see more, then make sure you click that like button and follow me on Twitter and, at Insta and Instagram and Twitch. All the links are in the description. Click that like button, guys, and leave your comments and ideas in the description, like in the comments below so I can I can read them. So Because I, I love reading you guys' comments. But I've had fun again. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, my friends, and I'll see you all next time.